what is the word it's lord third your number one trash player and guys i have news for you yuji naka the original programmer behind sonic the hedgehog recently released his first directed game in 21 years. Yuji Naka, as I said, was the original programmer of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it is important to note that he was originally the programmer of Sonic the Hedgehog. He, after 21 years in the industry, has decided to direct a game, and it was published by Square Enix, Squeenix, as some people like to call them. Yuji Naka left Sega in 2006, citing that he wanted to make games besides Sonic games. Um, he was also involved in the Fantasy Star series at Sega. He was uh, head of Sonic Team at one point, and he was also the last person from the original team that created Sonic that left Sega um, after the other two left in 2002. So, some years later, um, in the interim, he got connected with Square Enix, and he released this game. Balan Wonderworld. And this much-anticipated game is pretty highly reviewed, kind of. So here it is, folks. This is the Balin Wonder World main website. This is um, the the newest endeavor from Yuji Naka, the man behind Sega, the veteran game designer. Thirty years, come at me. Um, the introduction given by Balin Company. I know that everyone knows who Balin Company is, so. Um, you know, exciting stuff. Balin Wonderworld is a wondrous action platformer game themed around a mysterious musical theater. The stars of the show will use special abilities from a multitude of characterful costumes as they adventure in the bizarre and imaginary land of Wonderworld. Here, memories and vistas from the real world mix with the things that people hold dear. Twelve different tales await our stars in Wonderworld, each with their own unique quirks. They will explore all corners of this labyrinthine stages using all the tricks and gimmicks hidden along the way to get to the heart of each touching story. Now, first and foremost, I just want to establish that this sounds like one of the most generic video game descriptions that I've ever heard. Um, first of all, I don't know how many words you need to say action platformer game. It, that's a lot of that's a lot of adjectives there. A wondrous action platformer game. Now I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the wonder is implied in the name of the game. Balan Wonderworld. You could just say platformer game. I guess someone could con could confuse it for being a video, um, a movie, a new anime coming out. The stars of the show will use special abilities from a multitude of character full costumes. Um, okay. Adventure in the bizarre and imaginary land of Wonderworld. Now, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I, I don't know what makes it uh, bizarre, but, you know, I, that's, that's part of the intrigue. You know, I'm interested now. You know, halfway through the description. Twelve different tales await our stars in Wonderworld, each with their own unique quirks. Interesting. I mean, got a little bit of, like, My Hero Academia. Uh, you know, there's a crossover here, apparently. Um, they will explore all corners of these labyrinthine stages using all the tricks and gimmicks hidden along the way to get to the heart of each touching story. Um, to be fair, I feel like that's the gist of every game, is that there are stages that you kind of like lose your way, and you're trying to find your way to the end, and you have to use the mechanics of the game and the gimmicks of the, the game to complete the game because that's what makes it a game. But again, that's just me. I don't have 30 years of experience. And to be fair, Square Enix did the publishing on this, so I believe that they were involved with the marketing and pitching this. So my experience is that someone who didn't actually play the game wrote this description so that you would hopefully play the game. And that seems like a great idea to me. So there's 80 different costumes that give you special abilities. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, some of these costumes look really cool. I think I like the aesthetics of this game very much. Curious about the story. It, it doesn't tell me a lot about what to expect about the story, but um, you know, 
You don't need to tell people what they're going to be getting in marketing. That's not what this is about. The cast, uh, the, the main characters look very boring. Um, they kind of need costumes to to be more interesting. Um, and, I, you know, that's, that's basic kind of design, right? Like, you want people to... Um, project themselves onto these characters. Okay. Um, Balin looks very characterful, using their description. Um, and uh, Lance looks interesting. Um, but hands down, the best design in the game is Tim, this bird rabbit thing. And so here you, you have the chapters of the game. Um, they're all clearly based off of other stories. So you've got a Stardew Valley chapter. Um, you have a Little Mermaid chapter, you have an Alice in Wonderland chapter, there's an Up chapter, um, interestingly enough. Um, and this one is obviously um, a nod to the X-Men being introduced with Storm coming in as um, the new queen of Wakanda. Um, I mean, ultimately, it, Balan Wonder World looks like a great game. Um, and I think that you should get it. Um, I just want to know what the... I mean, there are a lot of reviews to this game, and I'm sure that all of the reviews that are on the page are real reviews from real people just kind of bearing how they feel about the game. Right? Right? The first thing I value in a game is undoubtedly its gameplay. Not anything else in a game, but... First and foremost, it has to be the gameplay. Um, in that, Balin Wonderworld is promoted with the highest rating, in my opinion. Um, Balin Wonderworld was previously a colonel. They are now general because of this promotion. Um, a large part of the levels created in this game seem to be created in a bizarre way, but at the same time, in an extremely clever way. This isn't bad level design. It's actually extremely genius design. Hidden passages, secret streets, and intriguing maps accompany this work that winks at the classic games of past generations. In a good way. It's all consensual winking here at Balan Wonderworld. None of that, that bad winking. You know what I'm talking about. Especially if you love games like Knights or Croc, you will also love this Balan Wonderworld. I can be more than satisfied, despite everything. Despite everything, I can be more than satisfied. And I would say that I can confidently recommend it. Especially if you are looking for an intriguing and surprising platform. P.S. The game soundtrack is great. I have to admit to be surprised by the huge upgrades that this game has in other levels respects. The what? There are a lot of cool puzzle ideas here, especially level 5 and 8, and the costumes are just one more cool than others. All of the costumes are just one more cool here. Not two more cool, not three more cool, one more cool precisely. That's scientific, you can check my math on that. Probably it's the recent best platformer of the last decade. The most original and surprisingly fun to play. I recommend to everyone who loves the genre. Fantastic. Just fantastic. A sort of revolutionary platform game that take the player to have conscience of which are the best approach. I always like to have best conscience on what is the best approach. That is how I live my life. So this is clearly the game that I should be playing. Only when you play the full game can you really see the maximum potential of this Balan Wonder World. A masterful platform game but many people just doesn't be impressed by the free demo. That actually doesn't show even the whole incredible platform ideas of the game, especially in World 10 and 12. For this reason, you should buy this game because it is actually truly a great game. It's actually truly a great game and I am not being held hostage while I'm writing this. Easily one of the best games I've played this year. I'm really happy to express my modest opinion regarding this already controversial game. And I'm happy to say that this game is amazingly good. Reminds me the old school platform games, and if you also like the platform genre, you should give this a try, playing the complete game. None of those demos, especially World 11 and 12. Truly gorgeous level design. I love how they mentioned that you have to play to 
world le- 11 and 12, 10 in some cases, you know, as if that's not 80% into the game. I've played a lot of platform games in the recent years, but this Balan Wonderworld, it is easily one of the best of them. Balan Wonderworld, it is a spectacular game. Full of color, and at the same time, full of heart. A brilliant combination of interesting levels of design, which a nice touch of gameplay. Especially for the advanced costumes like Frog Jump <coughs> times 3. I'm proud to say that I'm enjoyed playing it. And can I easily recommend it to every lovers of the platform genre games. P.S. The full game, it is much bigger and better than the simple free demo. And the day one patch make the character even more faster in every kind of movement. And that day one patch makes the game way better. Not like the demo, you know. That thing that people give you so that you get an idea of what the actual game's gonna be like? No, that doesn't give you any idea of what the actual game is gonna be like. If you are searching for a good and original platform game, then this is exactly what you should play. It maybe can be a little strange to say, but this is that type of platform game that evolved dramatically when you going on with your journey. I would go so far as to say, you can't be a good platformer game if you don't evolve dramatically when you going on with your journey. <laughs> LOL to who doesn't even try the full game. How much are desperate the haters today? This game is much better than many ridiculous platformer games today. Those are all things that actual humans say. Literally a pure joy to play. This kind of games should be a great spot for the beginner career of any platform games lovers. Again with the platform games lovers. I'll hugely love this wonderful wonder world. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Getting kinda hot in the collar there, Walden. I don't know about hugely love. Moderate love is fine. But Balan Wonder World is a work of art. A monumental example of game design and storytelling. A testimony for future generations of the greatness of a legendary developer, Yuji Naka. Written by a completely unrelated reviewer named Nuji Yaka, who has signed many of the greatest masterpieces released over the years on consoles. And it is good to proclaim it aloud and immediately, even before any description and explanation or any critical analysis so that the player, even the most distracted and superficial, immediately knows what genre of precious gem he is in front of. An object that as long as you do not viscerally hate the genre of platforms with RPG elements cannot even remotely be ignored unless you want to miss the greatest video game ever released on next gen. And beware, even the most ferocious haters of Sonic, Mario, Crash, or this type of video game should seriously consider giving this episode of Yuji Naka's long-running success series a chance, as they will most likely not have a better opportunity to discover a universe spectacular and wonderful and ultimately convert to Balin. Okay. 10 out of 10 OST, 10 out of 10 level design, 10 out of 10 art. I'm really loving the whole message give by this game, and I think that every platform games that should take note of this little great game. P.S. Also, the game requires you to download the day one patch for better experience it, and this really makes the whole game faster and better. I'm telling you, you can't really play the game without the day one patch. You need the day one patch, baby. It's the type of game that reminds me the first 3D platform games ever made long ago. It reminds me of the time when I used to play platformer games long ago. Oh, it was a time for platform gamers lovers. The best platform game ever released on Nintendo Switch. I suggest to ignore the ridiculous negative oh fake reviews here because comes from ridiculous babies that doesn't even play this game. Best game played this gen. A truly charming and unique experience to live. And there you have it. Beautiful graphics, great tunes, solid gameplay, surprisingly good and thoughtful gameplay add up to an experience that no action platformer game should miss. 93%. Dave. This may be the best game of all time. A r- I really didn't have high expectations for this game. I though, another platformer just like the Mario trash. Nothing like good games like Cyberpunk 2077. Though the patches have made it worse. 
or Fortnite. But whoa, did that game blow me away. The stunning graphics, fast paced platforming, everything. All this on the Switch? Like whoa, this game is totally radical and I think you should get it. I did a pixel count and I got 1440p in handheld mode. 120 frames per second with 8K and ray tracing. I haven't even mentioned the costumes. I absolutely love how each costume does one thing. It's like the Odyssey capture mechanic, but it's actually a good game. There are so many unique costumes that are super fun to play around with. The only thing I would improve are the cutscenes. While they convey the story perfectly, they look pretty bad. All in all, 20 out of 10 game. I hope to see a sequel. Well, Balan Fan 69 don't hold your breath. Well, friends, I hope that you learned from this definitive evidence that Balan Wonderworld is the single greatest game that has ever existed. There will never be another one, um, especially if you love the platformers genres and you are a lovers of the platform game formula. On top of that, if you don't have the day one patch, why are you even here?